Que les gens la musique ad. Ok? A new attempt at mastery in the six plus. Ok, let's see if we get it. Right, these are the six sentences that we're going to try and work out today, ladies and gents. Les phrases d'aujourd'hui. All about music, okay? So they're the ones that we're going to look at. Right, have a good look at them. Look, there you are. First one, because I like her music. Because, Basque, Gar, use one or the other. I like is uh, J'aime. Now, her music, same as his music, is sa musique. So, Gar, meaning because. Or we could use Basque. Now remember to get rid of the E if you have uh, something with a vowel coming after it, like ELM or LM and so on. Okay? Alright, so car and Basque. I like, as we know, is gem. So gem, ladies and gentlemen, means I like. So get that clear into here. Clear into here. Gem. Basque gem. Now sa musique, okay? Now the sa means his or her, and it's reliant on whether the word uh, coming after it, i.e. musique, is le, la, ou le. In this case, it's la, so it's sa, feminine. So, because I like her music, car j'aime sa musique, because I like her music, or parce que j'aime sa musique. So that's the first solution. La solution 1. Right, I would say that her lyrics are great. So, I would say that is je dirais que. And her lyrics is ses paroles, sans sarcé, which I didn't really go into last time. So, je dirais que, I would say that. Or we could sort of sort with je pense que, I think that. Je trouve que, which literally means I find that, but can also translate as I think that. So, her lyrics are ses paroles sans. Sans sarcé, meaning his or her. Sans, masculine, sa, feminine, and say for plural. So, ses paroles sont génial, great. Now, feminine, add on an E, and because it's feminine plural, add on an S afterwards as well. So, génial meaning great. That is that one there, ladies and gentlemen. So, put the, these bits together. Je dirais que ses paroles sont génial. I would say that her lyrics are great. So, that is number two, ladies and gents. Okay. Numéro toi. I don't like her songs too much. Okay, French literally, I don't like too much her songs. So, je n'aime pas, we're going to start off with, which is going to come up in a minute, or even less than a minute. So, je n'aime pas, I don't like. Now, alternatively, j'ai horreur de, which literally means I have horror of, or I dislike. Okay, just give a bit of variety. Okay, ses chansons, uh, her or his songs. So it's um, plural, okay? Notice that sa chanson, his or her song, just talking about one song. So it's a la word, feminine. Trop, too much. So trop means too much. So putting it all together. Hey, there we go. Je n'aime pas trop ses chansons. I don't like her songs too much. Literally, I don't like too much her songs. Je n'ai pas trop ces chansons. Underlined it just to emphasize the word order change. Right. It makes me want to dance and cry. Okay, people. So how do we do this one? Here we go. Are we ready? Yes. Right. It makes me. Literally. Uh, ça me rend. Literally, it renders me. It makes me. It me makes. Ça me rend. It makes me. To get it in here, ça me rend. Know what I mean? Now, one, two, envie de. It's like envy of. Have an envy of something, you want it. Okay? Quite negative uh, meaning in English. So, envie de, to want to, to, to be envious of. Danser, to dance. Uh, dictionary infinite form, et pleurer, uh, to cry. Dance and cry. Danser et pleurer. So, put it all together, ladies and gents. Here we go. Ça me rend envie de danser à pleurer. That makes me want to dance and cry. Not hue and cry, that's something else. Yeah. Ça me rend envie de danser à pleurer. So that's the fourth solution. Right, number five. She tells me that her favourite female singer is Rihanna. So she tells me that, okay, she to me tells that. She me tells that is what we're going to be confronted with first. So here we go. So elle me dit que. 
So we can see the literal translation down there. She to me tells that. Il me dit que. He tells me that. Il me dit que. Okay. So, second part. Sa chanteuse préférée. Her favorite female singer. Her singer favorite. Okay, so female singer, chanteuse. S-E on the end. Uh, one clue number one and E on the end of préférée. C'est Rihanna. It's Rihanna. Literally, it's Rihanna. So there we have it. All right. Or me, say hello to the person to my right. No, go on. Elle me dit que sa chanteuse préférée c'est Rihanna. She tells me that her favorite female singer is Rihanna. Okay, ladies and gents, hope that's gone in. Good stuff. Right, I'm six. In my opinion, my favorite male singer is Bowie. All right, so we can either use à mon avis, in my opinion, or c'est à moi, which is just going to come up. But here we go. Oh yes. Here we go. A mon avis, in my opinion, c'est à moi, another possibility, possibility, pour moi, for me, etc. Okay, these are ways of saying in my opinion. Okay. Right, part B. Mon chanteur préféré, my favourite male singer. So chanteur this time instead of chanteurs. So notice we've got mon groupe préféré, my favourite group down there as well. C'est Bowie. It's Bowie. Is Bowie. It's, is, whatever. Okay. There we have it. Yep. Put it all together. A mon avis, mon chanteur préféré, c'est Bowie. In my opinion, my favourite male singer is David Bowie. So that is solution number six. Numéro six, mesdames, monsieur. Okay. Right. Now I'm going to disappear from here quickly. And this is your solution sheet. Write down the answers here. Okay, so you can screenshot that, something like that, anyway. And there are the answers, summary of them down there of the six quest six sentences we have gone through. All right, you happy with that? Yep, c'est tout et au revoir.